Good morning, everybody. Today, I could say it's a dreary, dismal day, but I will say it is a wonderful day because we had some storms in ball ground last night. And I had said when your home is going rattle, 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 and you're thinking, what is happening? A lot of lightning, a lot of rain. Did y'all get a lot of rain and lightning? We got rain, but it wasn't too bad. Well, this was bad. It was Fast and Furious, I guess is how I would describe it. There's a movie out there called Fast and Furious, isn't yes. there? Yes. <laughs> but today is the day. Dawn says she's blessed, and on the back of her shirt it says... Jesus has my back. Jesus has my back. And I don't know if y'all know it or not, but last night during the storms, I'm thinking, okay, Jesus, if you're coming, you're coming. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're ready. Uh, man, it was a wild night. It was a wild night. And we don't need any more rain. I don't know if y'all know about it, but we've got enough rain. And if you have crops out, your crops are probably swimming this morning. Yes. They're probably running upstream going, help me, help me, help me. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Right. <laughs> so... You know what I made last night? What? A big old pot of vegetable beef soup because I'm doing a little something special tonight and um, I'm, I'm losing Tim and it makes me cry, um, but it makes me happy for him because he's going to a job, his wife is going to a new very productive job and I'm excited for them, they're moving to Jacksonville, but today is our last program with Tim. And he's kind of my baby boy. I stress over him because he don't eat much. So I try to cook stuff he'll eat. Sometimes he has time to eat and sometimes he doesn't. I worry that he might go to Jacksonville just not starve to death because I won't be there to feed him. So <laughs> I don't know. I have to worry about that. Reckon I can mail him some spaghetti because he loves my spaghetti. You might could. <laughs> I might could do that. Overnight it. I got I to gotta make you tickled. Oh my gosh. Yesterday, you talk about a blessing, a blessing. We're selling property to a wonderful 86-year-old gentleman who is just a saint. He is, he is of sainthood. He shows up to the closing that just got off of an airplane with two 12-inch Gabriel subs for You're me. You're kidding. How no, precious. How precious. I cried. I was like, oh, my gosh. My favorite forever restaurant in my whole life is Gabriel Sub Shop. Been in business over 60 years in Orlando. Right. I grew up eating there. I didn't know that there was any other kind of sub in the world besides Gabriel's. It today, this moment, this hour is still my very, very favorite restaurant. Yes. I would give anything to have a Gabriel's close by, but it is a family owned, family operated over 60 years. Wow. And it was just as good. I took one bite last night because I'd made this soup and I had said I'm just going to have water and soup after 5 o'clock yesterday, nothing else. Because I'm really trying to keep my protein levels good. My hair, can y'all tell, my hair is getting thinner still and I'm, I'm trying everything the doctor says to try. And my hair's still getting thin, so I don't know what it is. But Miss Leah just, you know, she tries and tries and she tries to make it poofy like it used to be and it's hard. It's hard to make that big old thing that you try. I know it. Maybe your thyroid. <laughs> no, they checked all that. All my numbers are good. Everything's good. My um, hair's been falling They just out. said I need more protein and that COVID is the culprit. So oh, wow. COVID, um, I know, you know, I know people who are literally having to wear wigs because of COVID. So wow. they lost so much hair. So COVID is that nasty booger that is still out there. So still be cautious, still be careful, still take care. And I'll tell you something else that's out there. Um, and we talk about all the time, checkups are so very important. Today is a day for us to check up on our sweet, sweet Danny Hensley, who it's his birthday today. So happy birthday. We have a pie in the freezer that we're gonna eat after a while. We wish you were here to enjoy it. <laughs> but happy, happy birthday, Danny Hensley. He is battling cancer. He has been battling cancer almost a year. Checkups are so very important. His beautiful wife, Dawn, uh, gives us directives of how to pray for his, his, you know, the doctors, 
the hospitals he's facing, the test he goes through to pray specific prayers. And I love that she has been his his guardian angel right here on earth and oh, and wow. it is they they are amazing and happy happy birthday to danny i hope you have a great day and i hope you get to hug a baby today because uh something about them little grandbabies i got to hug that little Riker last night and he's so precious just so sweet you got to hear him and he's just he is he is love he is just a lot of love oh yes and that's so important and uh, in today's world we need a little bit of love going on let me pass some love to you from, I called today and got some information. The Speaker of the House, they're all running around, getting things done, getting things accomplished. The Governor, the Lieutenant Governor, and just everybody has signed off on this, this new thing to help us with fuel prices. It's going to relieve us of the state tax. Now, I hope that the federal government will also go in and take the federal state federal tax away so if you take the state you take the federal that's going to lower the price of fuel and that will help us tremendously because I don't know if you know it or not but if you choose to drive a big pickup truck you choose to drive a SUV like I do because if you haul a bunch of people around you need one um, the fuel prices are killing us oh, yeah. and you know we all know that and we know that the average guy is still putting food on the table and tonight we're going to actually do something is how do you feed a large family on a budget when the groceries are astronomical, the right. fuel is astronomical. Y'all still have a garden, don't you? Right. We just, we just planted cabbage. Yeah, and I think it's so important in today's world to learn to provide for yourselves. Yes. Don't depend on that grocer or that, you know, grow you a hog, grow you a beef cow. You know, do this yourself and learn to provide for yourself. My grandmother used to say, well, anything we need, we've got right here. And she meant truly from the garden to the chickens out in the yard and wringing a chicken's neck and all the gross things you do to cook a chicken. Um, we're gonna have to go back to taking care of ourselves. Yes. I How much so. corn did you put up last year? Not as much as I did the year <laughs> before, I don't think. Corn is hard but. work. Corn's yes. hard work, and you scrape it and do all that. Oh, oh my yes. gosh, yes, yes. Cut it. Scrape the reason it. I'm asking is because I used some of it out of the freezer last night to make my vegetable beef soup. Yeah. And it was my last bag, and I'm like, I need some corn. I think <laughs> so. we have two bags at John's, and I think there's none at my house. Oh, wow, so. wow. Well, it is worth doing a garden today if it was ever you know worth what doing you're it. Getting. Yeah. You know that you're getting fresh, and you know that if you choose not to use chemicals you can do an organic garden right and it is time to be planting your garden we have to because I have honeybees mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now let's talk about why did you do honeybees I don't know what, what you needed one more thing to do one more thing to do yeah <laughs> <laughs> to do. it's amazing about the honeybees you know without them we wouldn't have oxygen mm -hmm. I mean it is very important and so many bees are dying because of so many people spraying chemicals mm -hmm. I pass by houses a lot of times and it will say do not spray do not spray because mm -hmm. people are becoming aware of that well um, Carol uh, Carol Tinsley he has been dealing with bees for how many years years and years and years mm -hmm. and years and he keeps losing them <laughs> keeps losing them but it's because people are coming by spraying pesticides right. or somebody spraying them in their yard and his bees goes over there right. to they go visit and they bring home the culprit yeah and it kills yeah. the whole hive so wow. he's just almost give up on it that's crazy isn't it because and it you keeps wouldn't losing think, them because you can't tell the bees now y'all just stay right here because i don't use any of right. those chemicals yeah that's crazy yes that's crazy well, we know that our dear buddy Selena was supposed to have a treatment on Monday and things did not work out to have that treatment and some numbers were a little bit uh, uh, kind of strange. Um, nothing, nothing bad, but um, maybe next week the treatment will happen. And so we're all praying for Selena Hales to get better, to overcome and to beat cancer. Now, yes. you know what cancer does. Um, we saw my mother who the doctors gave her six months and she lasted two years yes it is in god's plan it is in his perfect plan and there's really nothing we can do about it except do all we can do oh yeah and it was like when js was diagnosed and they said mr martin you have a traveling cancer but we're going to try to cut its trip short his trip 
didn't cut short. It spread like wildfire very, very fast. And I think early detection, early diagnosis is the most important thing. And if something seems different or strange with you, go get a checkup. You know, don't right. wait. Go get a checkup. And that's something that we have to, you know, um, we forget. We forget. And I get labs done often now because of my family history. My mother had cancer. My daddy had cancer. They both chain smoked. I've never smoked in my life. So I hope my odds are good. I hope right. my odds are good. And I try to, I drink lots of water. Oh my gosh, I drink lots of water. It's wonder I'm not floating. But I'm trying to do better and eat an antioxidants. And now Lonnie Fountain will probably live to be 300 because <laughs> he eats cabbage every day. The man he loves sauerkraut. cabbage. Sauerkraut. Every yes. day, yeah. Now, antioxidants are so important for us. Yes. I do peppers and onions. I love that. I love cabbage. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm going to live to be 300 too. Yeah, <laughs> maybe with Lonnie. <laughs> Can we talk about a little bit about what Lonnie just accomplished? Because he is amazing. Which part? The, the points champion. The points champion. Yeah. He is the catfish points champion. Yep, he got number one. Number one. And he's a local Ludville boy who has always loved to fish. And yes. isn't there fishing something on his daddy's monument? So his daddy obviously fished yes. too. Yes. So so there's something about, you know, it's born and bred into you. I fished one day over at the lake for about 10 minutes. That was the most boring thing I ever did in my life. <laughs> you love to fish. Yes, it's so much fun. You okay. need to go with us one no. day. No, no, <laughs> I don't yes, want to. Yes, <laughs> you would love it. It's not boring I, I at all. <laughs> I didn't. I sat there waiting on that fish to jump on the hook, and it never jumped on there, and I gave it 10 minutes, and I was like, I'm done. You don't have patience. <laughs> I do not. I do not. I do not. So how does Lonnie feel about this honor? Because it is truly an honor. He beat out some of the best in the world. Yeah, he's, he was proud. Was he excited, yeah. and or did he expect it? Did he think he was in number one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He likes being in number one, he doesn't is. he? Yeah, yeah. He does. That's and we had thing. said we want to bring Lonnie to the show, but for anybody who knows Lonnie Fountain, if he has done a roof for you, you know that he said very little the whole time he was at your property and on your job. He is too busy working or fishing to talk to you. He's not going to say much. Exactly. And, and if he says something, you might all listen. He's kind of like J.S. Martin was. Uh, if he speaks, you better listen because he means what he says. Yes. <laughs> and I think Lonnie's like that. So. Yes, he is. But congratulations to Lonnie Fountain. Um, number one points champion Catfish Kingdom. I mean, it is like a big Over deal. Over four divisions, yes. Yeah. yeah, that is pretty awesome. Now, competitive nature, he and his brother fished together. Did it hurt Donnie's feelings that Donnie was not number one? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe he was proud for his brother. I think uh, Donnie was proud that he was up there. He got uh, third place. I actually got second place. They messed up and didn't count his points right. He was supposed to have got second place, but wow. they ended up giving him third place. But wow. I guess it's hard to keep up with all that stuff. Wow. So they did. They made a boo boo. Uh oh. He was that's supposed not good. to have been in second, but that's he got not third. Good. Well, today you brought me a new book. You bring me these books. How can I read all that stuff? My goodness, you brought me another one today. And how do I do this? I, I just choose something I want to read. Yeah. Okay, how about He Still Moves Stones? I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. What has, what has the thief of, on the cross done to warrant help? Who is he to beg for forgiveness? What right does he have to pray? Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Do you really want to know? The same right that you have to pray. You see, that is you and me on the cross. Naked, desolate, hopeless, and estranged. We, like the thief, have one more prayer. And we, like the thief, pray. And we, like the thief, hear the voice of grace. Wow. Wow, that is pretty cool. Thank God for grace. Yeah, for thank God for grace. grace. Thank yes. God for grace. That is awesome. Dawn brings me all these books all the time and I have to read them. <clears throat> we have to share some good news because the world is full of bad news right now. Yes, when it is. When we watch the children, the elderly, the wives, the husbands being just done away with in Ukraine, it is very, very heartbreaking. It's so sad. 
is very sad. And sadly, um, because of the news, it is up close and personal to us. We don't know any of those people personally, but we pray for them. Yes. Yeah, and we know that they are like us. They have a family, they have a grandchild, they have a pet, they have, we saw people fleeing to try to get on trains with their animals. And you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So scary. It's so scary. And um, everybody knows where I stand politically. If you don't, you've been under a rock somewhere. But um, uh, somebody was talking about a lady who had voted the way I didn't vote. And I said, and why did she do that? And they said, well, she didn't like Trump's mouth. And I said, listen, I don't care if he gets up in the morning cussing the cat and kicking the dog. I want gas prices back where they were, and I want my groceries to cost a normal price, and I want interest rates to be good enough for people to buy a house. I don't understand the craziness of the world. I don't understand when you anger over something so silly as, well, I didn't like what he said. Okay, look at what he's done for the world. Yeah. And I hope that the world is going to one day look back and say, wow, he did an amazing job. Gas was 167.9 as he left office. Yeah. And today it was over $4 a gallon. So yes. it's very scary. And, and for you average working folks, I'm average working folks. I'm buying gas twice a week, and um, it's a killer. It's a killer. Yes. It's tough. But but worse than that, a lot of it is happening because the, America is showing weakness now, and I don't like weakness. I don't like weakness yes. in anything. I think. It's and when I got weak, it made me nervous. Yeah. But I got weak, and you you brought it out, and you told me you said, "Mama, mm -mm, that's not my mama. My mama's not weak." Right. And I'm not. So. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break, and we have a young man in Jasper. His name is Chandler Smith, and he won at Las Vegas this weekend. Chandler is one of those kids that I interviewed when he was about seven years old over at Lanier Motor Speedway, and we're going to share that interview with y'all, not today, but at a later date. But I get so tickled watching this kid. He is born and bred Pickens County, and he is acing it on the racetrack. He is absolutely amazing, and he's just grown into a fine, fine, fine young man. And it is—it all started right here locally. And uh, what a what an honor to say this is a local kid, wow. and he's acing it in Vegas. So yay, Chandler Smith. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to share some of Don's favorite music. What's your favorite music? Broken Ground. Um, Freddie Brackett. Freddie Brackett, <laughs> yes. She sent me I a message. I didn't know if you were thinking gospel. No, or, she sent me a message and said, Freddie does that song better than the original people did it. And I said, I don't know about that. And she said, yeah, he does. What and, is it, Country Road? Yeah, Take Me, take home. me home, Country Road. She I had sent a message it. and I laughed and I said, Lord, that's so funny. But the lady I had on yesterday, I hope that y'all got to watch. Um, Paula sang Amazing Grace at the end of the show, and when she comes back to be with us, we're going to talk about the Amazon warehouse and what it did to the town that she lives in and what to expect if we do get this warehouse in ball ground. Um, it's it's kind of iffy. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. It will bring huge amounts of jobs. It will bring huge tax dollars to the city of ball ground, which is a super positive thing. It will bring tons and tons of traffic, but there's a twofold of that. It could get us a roundabout that we desperately need. It could also speed up the process of getting the truckers route that we really, really need out of ball ground. Bring those trucks off of Main Street and take them, give them their own road. Don't make them sit there and watch us old ladies walking across the street and kids out there playing. And you have to be so careful. So, so it's kind of a, a double-edged sword. We could get a lot of traffic, which would be a negative about the event, but we could also get a lot of jobs and tons of tax dollars. And if Ball Ground doesn't approve it, Cherokee County's going to approve it. They're going to bring it in somewhere. So why give the county the tax break that we need? So yeah, you know, you, you have your own opinion. Um, I think that if you own land, you ought to be able to do anything to it that doesn't is not detrimental to your neighbors. So. Um, that's that's kind of my spiel on it, and and I know that Paula said the Amazon thing did bring a lot of jobs there, and um, lots of good-paying jobs. The problem being, if you're a neighbor and it operates seven days a week, 24/7, with tractors and trailers going all night long, who wants to hear that? So I understand they made some offers to buy out the surrounding land mm -hmm. to let those people relocate, which would make sense. So a lot of it's coming together and making sense. 
The one thing that makes sense to me is ball ground could use the revenue because yes. we are a tiny town with only about 2,600 residents in city and um, that means everybody who goes 372 uses our road and nobody leaves us any money to work on the potholes and it's a state road and you can't get the state down there to do anything so it's crazy. Right. But I hope that um, I hope something positive happens in ball ground, and I'm, I'm thinking it might. So we'll see. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break, and then we're going to share some of Don's music because you had said I can't remember what song he was doing besides that John Denver one. Oh, it was somewhere between. Yeah, yes, you love that. I that love was his favorite. I listen to that favorite. all the time. <clears throat> so we're going to share a little bit of music, <laughs> and then we're going to come back, and we're going to talk a little bit about something in the Bible. Is that right? We can. Yes. We can. All right. We'll be back shortly. all over the world are so bored every St. Patrick's Day. But not in L.A.J., Georgia. Join us Saturday, March 12th from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. for the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. Bring your pets all dressed up for the pet parade and pet costume contest. We'll have vendors, raffles, a pet blessing, entertainment, and so much more. Saturday, March 12th, 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. L.A.J., Georgia, the 2022 St. Patrick's Celebration. <laughs> Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. so good to be back in Ella J, Georgia. That's right. Ain't it good to be back home again? Yeah, it is. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted him to sing that yeah. song so bad. There's a storm across the valley. Clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is on your shoulder There's a truck out on the four lane a mile or more away the whining of his wheels just makes it colder We're going to give you this great apple recipe really easy peanut butter bread and apples that's pretty simple and I bet you 
I bet you you're going to like it. Well, I don't think it'd be a good idea for me to try it on the set. I think you I, may, I may have to leave the set. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not going to say that we stayed up all night long and did these, right? But we will say you took the motorhome under something that said 11 foot and the motorhome's 12 feet. How yeah, do we do that? We wasn't sure we was going <laughs> to be getting our wings this morning. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Sometimes it's so far. If you was wondering why I was a singing and a doing this, because if you'll, if you'll watch Sherry, she'll just sit there and she'll, she'll just, oh, is that what you're doing? You're just rubbing it. your foot? I love my okay. quilt. I love right. my quilt. Yes. And your mother called last Friday. Sunshine made her cry. You felt the baby move just yesterday. Uh, they might not appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go down to some awesome music. Here we are, Matt Diamond. And we're going this time. We are. <laughs> All right, cut the camera off. Uh, Madeline. 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 Yeah. Listen, I will say is he's younger than me, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, 58 younger than you. <laughs> Try it again, it's Madeline, not 58. This is the sweetest thing I know of. Just spending time with you. It's a little thing that make a house a home. Like a fire softly burning, supper on the stove. The light My home's in Ball Ground, Georgia. <laughs> no matter where I lay my head. Oh, wait, that's the wrong song. <laughs> okay. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze, country roads, take it home. Take me home, country 
Yay, you got what you wanted. You yes, said, Mama, you. I'll come if you'll play that music. <laughs> <laughs> you um, have battled a lot of demons in your life, haven't you, young ladies? Yes, ma'am. And one of the hardest is depression. And yesterday, we didn't talk about this while Paula was here, but um, Paula is going to do a, a YouTube channel now about depression because she's been battling depression. And um, depression is very, very real, isn't it? Yes. It and is. you have somebody you want to ask some prayer for because he's really, really struggling. After the death of his sister, he spiraled into just locking down. Tell folks about us. I call it the rabbit hole. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I was talking to him about it last night, but um, it's one of our workers, and his sister committed suicide, same as mine. Mm hmm. Um, I think it's been, what, three years ago? Yeah. And he just, just gave up. Just, um, he would get up and go to work, but then when he got home, he would just go to bed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Bed, bed, bed. And now, um, I guess it's been six or seven weeks, um, he has been not able to walk. Like, he That's has... scary. He, yeah. Yeah. But if you don't he use it, you eat. lose it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He would, and he's um, last night. He told me that he's going to get back in church, and I said I knew a blessing would shine through this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that you are going to make it. So yeah. he's fighting now to yeah. live. Yeah. But um, he has <laughs> bladder infection, kidney infection, urinary tract infection. He, um, I mean, for the for the last five or six weeks, he has not been able to walk. Wow. Wow. Because it has done so much damage to his body, not eating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Not eating yeah. anything. Yeah. And that's another thing that comes with depression. Some people comfort eat, so they overeat. Some people do the opposite, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is shut down forget and they to won't eat. eat. Yep. It's yep. not forget, it's just, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a slow suicide, really. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, when you dealt with the death of your sister and depression set in, you literally just shut down. Yes. But at the same time, you had a business to run, you had a husband, you had a family, and you had children, but you still shut down. Yes. Nothing could keep you from shutting down. That's very no. scary. And I remember one day, um, it's the day that uh, Lonnie had bought the pontoon boat, and him and Ansley come in, and they had it out in the front yard and they said, we're gonna take it to Carter's Lake, come on, mom, go with us. And I said, no, I was on the couch where I had been for about six months. And they were like, well, okay, and they left and it hit me so hard that day. Like, oh my gosh, they're letting me lay here and die. Mm -hmm. And so um, whenever Lonnie got in, I said, I can't believe you're letting me die. And he said, we beg you to get up and go with us. We beg you every day. 
and I had said no so many times that they, you know. Got tired of asking. They would still ask, but when <laughs> I'd say no, they'd just go on. They wouldn't stand around and mm -hmm. try to, you know, convince me to come on or mm -hmm. whatever. But mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all are letting me just lay here and die. I can't believe mm -hmm. you're letting me mm -hmm. lay here and die. Mm -hmm. And um, it just, it hit me really, really hard that day. And um, so I think that, um, that, that may have been a trigger point maybe um when did i break my shoulder the year before you did when yeah. did you the, six two, years uh, yeah. 2016 yep yeah. yeah. i think i broke mine in 2015. mine was 2015 yours was earlier that year so 2014 yeah. Yeah. or something yeah anyway um i had already got through all that but um that kind of woke me up to I have got to start fighting yeah, to yeah. get out of this because yeah. I remember it was in April when I sat down on the couch because I went and cleaned her house out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we turned the keys over and blah, 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 blah. So it really didn't hit me until April. Mm -hmm. But I remember going in, sitting on the couch mm -hmm. and I just, I don't know if I went into shock. Mm -hmm. uh, it all just hit me right then, but it was over there it was I was real. for six yeah. months yeah. on the couch. Yeah. And, and that is, um, you had somebody there who, who saw it happening with you, and they still couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Angela hid her depression right. because she would be fine, and then she would go home, and she would be so depressed. And uh -huh. she would be fine, and she would go home, and she would be so depressed. And um, everybody asked me, did you not see this coming? No, I didn't. Because I thought, she's my child and she's going to be strong. But did you see coming what happened to me recently? Because I didn't realize that I was giving in and giving mm -hmm. up. And yeah. I didn't see it happening. And it did. Right. And that's very scary. So yes. I don't think she realized the, the depth of the hole she was in. Right. And it gets darker, it gets harder, it, um, I, I've had, you know, so many thoughts of how close I came to not being here. Yes. And it wasn't that I was going to kill myself, I was just going to die. I was just right. going to die. I just, I, I'm just going to lay down and die. And that's Satan. That is Satan. That yes. is purely from Satan. That yes. is not from us, from, you know, Angela was smart. We'll admit she was smarter than both of us. She had us whooped. I mean, right. absolutely. And talented. You know who she reminds me of her and um, Miss Doubtfire, what's his name? Oh, oh, Robin Williams. Yes. How many people did he make happy? Yes, and yes. And Angela was the same way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They have a whole lot in common. Yeah. And, and we just, you know, anything I needed done, I would call my daughter and say, Ann, you got to do this. I can't do it. And she'd say, Mom, let me teach you. Let me show you. And I said, I don't need to know how to do this because you're going to always be here to do it. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. Yeah. And it was so scary. It was so scary because she didn't see the depth of the depression she was going into. And Paula told me yesterday, she said, I just shut down. And she said, you know, she had health issues that started it. And often depression starts when there's a health issue. Yeah. And she said that's what happened with her. And it's it's just so scary. It's so scary. Yes. We need to learn something about our phones because I we put, put our on phones do on disturb. do not disturb. And y'all just heard that sucker going crazy. It's it's so weird. So if you see me get up in a minute and <laughs> grab the phone and throw, <laughs> throw it across it the, the room, <laughs> then you'll know. <laughs> you know, um, Depression is very, very real. Um, we had a conversation yes. this morning at Leah's about, I don't medicate. And so the doctor last year, he said, these numbers are wrong, these are bad, these are, you're in trouble, you're in trouble, you're in trouble, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. He said, you're in trouble, your, your kidneys are shutting down, this is happening, all these things are happening. And I said, okay. And he wanted to give me a bunch of prescriptions. And I said, no, <clears throat> I said, I'll take care of it myself. And I did. I had the strength then to do that. You have to be ready to fight, and I was ready to fight. And I think that's when we get in trouble and depression takes over, is when we give up the fight. Yes. And the doctor's office called last week and said, we have some questions for you, because all these numbers are changing drastically. And are you seeing another doctor and getting prescriptions? And I said, no. 
I said, I'm not doing anything except what I told you I would do. I'm doing it on my own. And they were like, really? You know, so they were documenting all this. Because I, I was stronger and I was determined and Changing. I was going to reverse problems. And so I quit drinking sugar in my tea and I started drinking water and I got my kidneys back going and I got, you know, I'm just determined. I'm pretty determined. And then something hits me up against the wall and I lose everything. And I'm like, what happened to me? I think sometimes depression hits us and we don't realize that it is real, but right. it is also something that Satan likes to see us give in and Satan likes to see us give up. Yes. And God doesn't like that. He wants his children to be strong. Right. That's hard. That's hard. So Kevin getting back in church is going to make such a difference. Yes. And we will see the light in his eyes again. Yes. You know, now he had only one sister. Yes. And she committed suicide. His parents um, passed away two weeks apart. Wow. I think his dad died and then two weeks later his mom died. Wow. And then it was just uh, the two of Kevin them. and Tammy. Yeah. Yeah, and does did anybody know she was battling something, or did she um, wasn't hers a shocker? Um, it was to him, but um, there were a few things that triggered, you know, that um, her significant other knew about. You know, I don't know. We don't, don't know, know the answer. She was struggling. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know the answer. It's like yesterday, I told you it was the anniversary there's of Mike Rizzuco's death. There's so many things that are so <laughs> similar to Kevin's sister and my sister. Mm -hmm. um, her dog that she had had for years and years and years, named Roofer, mm -hmm. had just passed away. And, uh, you know, Mystic mm -hmm. had passed had just away. Had died, yep. yep. And uh, there's just so many things in co that those two had in common. But um, it's just mental, it's mental health. Yeah, you know, and it's, we've it's, seen this on the news lately. The funding for mental health has been cut drastically. Hmm. And it's so important because lives are being lost. You know, we're losing lives at war. We're losing a war against mental health issues. Yes. Because there's no funding now in the United States. They've cut funding drastically. And that's just ridiculous yes. because if you have a mental health problem, it can be addressed and you can get help and you can be a survivor. Right. But without the funding, you can't get anything. Right. So, so, and I've Sad. got something on my phone that I forgot to send Tim. Tim, did I send you a picture of me and a lady this morning? I think I did, yes. I want to share this today with my dear buddy, Ella Mae Reese, down in Pickens County, because she might recognize the lady who's with me today. We got so tickled. We were talking about Ella Mae, and we were both at Leah's, and uh, Miss Leah took a picture of us, and there you go. Good oh. morning, Ella Mae, and I am so glad that you're getting better from your fall, <clears throat> and hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, she has the most beautiful yard, I love and when her it shirt. blooms, yeah, when it blooms, her yard is just absolutely incredible. So. I hope that you will uh, get better and I hope that your fall, everything will heal and you'll be in great shape soon. All right, there you go. Don, when we talk about depression, we've seen it up close and personal. We've seen it firsthand. Now, is David depressed? Do you think David has depression or is David? David's a borderline genius idiot. We know that. That's the smartest boy. <laughs> he, <laughs> he can take so a test smart. and he can ace it. He can. doesn't have to study. No, he has. can teach himself a foreign language, but he, he's a loner and he stays. And that to me almost looks like depression. Yeah. I think he does struggle with depression. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and depression is real. It is real. And it is one of those things. I think Kevin nailed it last night. If he can get back in church and he can get around a good church family and he can find encouragement, yes, then he's he's not gone yet. Right. And he can come out of this. He yes. can come out of this. He's fighting now. Yeah, yeah. Where and he that's, wasn't before. Mm -hmm. It's he so good to see that fight. Up, yeah. So yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now he's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I think he weighs ninety. 90 pounds. Yeah, yeah, that's very scary. You think about a man weighing 90 pounds. Mm -hmm. My granddaddy was 68 pounds when he passed, but it was because he had been bedridden a long time, and Kevin basically has been bedridden for six weeks. So, so y'all please pray for this young man. Yes. 
and he he's a good guy he's a he's a good guy yes. but he's and men don't often admit that they are battling depression or that they have a problem or you know and he right. just kind of went to himself and just went to himself and you can't do that he went you down can't. the rabbit hole yeah down the rabbit hole okay you want to read something that we did at my mother's funeral and it's the 23rd psalm oh we did this at my dad's funeral too yeah. i had somebody read it yeah. so yeah there's something about the valley yeah. of the shadow of death yeah, and, and I want to read this. And too. it's very, very important that we know that um, there is a path that we can take, and it is out of that valley. And and Let's that see. valley gets dark and deep, and it gets scary. And you just understand that um, there is a way out of it, no matter what you're battling. If you're battling depression or addiction, or um, you know, you just you, you can get up. out of it. Yeah, look up, look up, look up. Yes, because he is with us. He is. He is. He is. He is. He is. Okay. There you go. Psalms 23. The Lord, the Lord, the shepherd of his people, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me look to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that is pretty awesome. That's, and, and, um, and that is true. And that's the only thing Mother wanted read at her funeral. You know, she said, I don't want any preaching. I've lived my life. Um, the Lord knows my heart. And, and I just want the 23rd Psalm. So now, yeah. do you want to be looking up Hebrews while I ask? Yes. Um, I want to remind y'all, too, Selena will be facing her fourth chemo on, I hope, this coming Monday. Um, don't like putting it off. Want to get it done, get it over with. But again, if you haven't purchased a CD, they are at Deb's Bakery in Jasper. They are at Robin's Nest Florist down on Refuge Road in Jasper. And I have a few I'm going to take to Laura Mays today when I go there. Um, we need to continue to support her financially. If you are battling um, financial problems and cancer at the same time, you know, you want to be able to keep your bills paid. If you were working and all of a sudden your jobs have ended because you're battling cancer, need a little income and this is our way to support and to help she and Rick to get through this so please don't forget those CDs and I've got two of them here I actually um, shared two with Paula yesterday so this is, again is two of them that are available we have four available and again you can go to Deb's Bakery or you can go to Robin's Nest in Jasper and pick up a copy of it so don't forget that and if you see Danny Hensley today tell him happy birthday Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I ought to get that pie out here and we could uh, put a, we don't have a candle. We could put a candle in Danny's pie <laughs> and we could eat it. <laughs> so <laughs> For his birthday. Yeah, yes. for his happy birthday. We've been working on a special that we um, produced here at ETC a long, long time ago. And uh, I think Tim did a little tweaking to it here and there. And we have entered several things for Telly Awards. And one of the things that we entered has gotten tons of hits on YouTube. And um, I hope that you will check out our YouTube channels. It's Sherry Martin or Sherry Martin 2009, which is the oldest one that we have some old, old stuff on or Sherry Martin Heart of the Home because I put a bunch of the cooking ones on that one and Tim is going to try to get them all on one which would be super cool and super fun to just go to one place but again you can check that out and our programs are downloaded there daily as we come off the air so the program today will be available if you want to share it with your friends and neighbors anybody who's battling depression needs to seek help and help is not in the form of taking your own life and we see it every single day exactly. every day Okay, you ready? Uh, yes, this is Hebrews um, 3, 13 through 19, but I'm actually going to um, read um, 3, 7 through 19. It says, Be faithful, therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, 
today if you will hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion in the day of trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me, tried me, and saw my works forty years. Therefore I was angry with that generation and said, They always go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my, enter my, they shall not enter my rest. Um, and then 3.12 says, Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end while it is said... Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Failure of the wilderness wanders. For who, having heard, rebelled? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt led by Moses? Now with whom was he angry for forty years? Was it not with those who sinned, whose corpse, corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they would not enter into his rest, but to those who did not obey? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. So we have to believe in we the Lord. We have to believe. I mean, yeah. it's as simple as that. Yeah, and it is so simple. It is yes. so very, very simple. And um, <clears throat> it's a simple route. We end our service every Sunday at church and they turn off the cameras as we do altar caller. And, and it's so interesting because I think, well, there's somebody at home that needs to see this, but then at the same time, you want it to be a private moment for the church. And I think in today's world, we need to leave the cameras rolling for everything because there's somebody sitting at home who hasn't ever darkened the doors of a church. But thank goodness through COVID, one of the great things that happened to that is there was a lot of online preaching and many of our churches are now online. So somebody yes. like Kevin, who hasn't been out of the bed in six weeks, can turn on a TV and see an altar call. Right. And that is pretty awesome. Yes. That is pretty awesome because you don't have to be in church to be saved. That's you can right. be under an oak tree with your grandmother. You can be out by the Talking Rock Creek. You can be anywhere and be saved. You can be on the banks right. of Carter's Lake and be saved right. and and mm. that is something that we know firsthand so you don't have to walk down the aisle at the church right that's not that's not what he asked you to do he asked you to believe and receive and to confess your sins and to be his that's right and it's pretty simple yes. pretty simple pretty simple what have you got going on today i know that you and john are into oh. chickens and farming and, and I'm and getting ready for a huge yard sale, huge. a mega yard sale. And we want to invite y'all to this mega yard sale because I'm going to tell you something. Clothes, clothes, it clothes, is, and is, more clothes and It is stuff. crazy stuff. I unloaded <laughs> a bunch of my stuff in Scent Weather. It is crazy how much stuff. You've got the barn full, you've got the carport full, and when are y'all going to have this? In about three weeks? <laughs> Maybe I'm I don't putting her know on a if deadline. It's possible. I mean, that's why we haven't come up with a date yet, but and it's going to be I on 382. Do it before it's out hot. on 382 here in Gilmer County. Yes. And um, we probably need to send out a big announcement because she needs everything to leave there. You got a lot yes. of stuff. I've never seen so leaving. much stuff at a yard sale. So it's crazy. Right. It's crazy. And that was during the days that you became depressed. A lot of stuff is brand new with tags. Right. A lot of stuff right. and a lot well, of really cool stuff. it was cool my stuff. eBay store stuff. Right. And what happened was during my depression for uh, several years, uh, I just, a lot of stuff in my shop is my sister's stuff. Mm -hmm. Like her clothes were down there, pictures of her down there. Um, my suggestion to anyone who has lost somebody, get rid of their clothes, their just immediately do that it's and so get out weird. of the house. I still have her key. <laughs> Don't stay in the house. I still have her keychain hanging in the kitchen right now today. Do you know how many times this week I picked it up and wanted to throw it away? And I can't. 
Why can't I? Well, that key ring know. doesn't matter, but I keep it. Why do we keep that stuff? It doesn't I don't matter, know. but we do. We do. No, it's hard. It is hard. But so the yard sale will announce it again in three or four weeks. You're yes, going to be having a massive mega yard day. sale on 382 down toward the Carter's Lake end. Right. So close yeah. to Doll Mountain. Yeah, close to Doll Mountain. It is going to be big. It's going to be, it's going to be big. And I'm going to be there because I'm going to be there bringing more stuff and more stuff. I keep taking her stuff and loading her up with stuff. And she's like, Mama, I've got all this stuff now. stuff. Yeah, and some beautiful, beautiful stuff. So it's going to be really cool. I'm so glad you were here today. I have to bribe her every time I get her to come. I have to say, okay, we'll play Freddie's music, or we'll do this, or we'll do that. Or this is the last show. I'm yeah, and Tim, our... today, today is Tim's last show, and I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cry. I'm going to miss just him. Just go with him, because I want to go to Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> you want to go to Jacksonville? Want, yes. Okay. Okay. You know, um, I've been so beyond blessed with uh, great crews of young guys who've come through here, some young women who've come through here. They come in here. They get some training. They go somewhere else. They've gone to college. Most of them work here while they're going to school and they do part-time gigs and that's kind of how you you get your grounding and then you go and decide what you really want to do and uh, with Tori she did it exactly the opposite she worked at a radio station while she was in college and then she was the only one out of her graduating class that had a job in television waiting for her oh wow she was the only one everybody else had submitted resumes submitted resumes in today's world if you're looking for a job you might not find the exact job you want but you're gonna find a job because everybody's hiring oh yes now fountain roofing is also hiring yes always because you always need a roof and after last night's rain I bet you there's somebody out there that really needs a roof that's probably why my phone was ringing that's why your phone was ringing <laughs> yeah when we think about um, the economy today and the world today so many people are still hurting so many people are still suffering and um, the last thing you need to add to depression is to have financial problems and oh, yes. so if you're looking to work y'all get out there and put out your resume let people know what you're good at I'm, I'm blown away at all the things that Nick can do right now he's building two decks and he's yes. redoing a double wide and he's just he just he jumps in there and does stuff and he yes. does the only thing he's afraid of is roofs and he said he roofed a little bit with Lonnie and he said now nah, I am terrified of roofs he don't so, like heights, yeah. no and I don't either I'm right there with him so um, thank you for being with us today and um, for everybody who watches ETC we are lucky enough to have been able to bring you local programming local news local folks uh, John who's sitting over here in the audience today is a local farmer who happened to have about how many muscadine oh lord I don't know and you gathered how many bushels <laughs> Um, and, and made muscadine jelly and muscadine jelly and muscadine jelly. There's something for everybody to do here in Gilmer County. Get out and know your local farmers. Go visit all the orchard, all the orchards and all the orchard growers. Get to produce their products. Can your own stuff and, and turn this economy problem around. Turn it into something fun. Make your own jellies. Put up your old corn, you know, your own corn, and even get out and pick you some ramps. Hans Rufert's taught people to go up in the mountain and pick ramps. Just get out and explore these beautiful mountains because they are filled with wonderful things that you can feed your family with. Yes. So there you go. There you go. And you're the best person to learn lesson tonight. I'm doing a cooking segment and I'm using two jars of your homemade salsa. So awesome. yay. Awesome, and awesome, I awesome. I have some salsa too. If anybody wants any, you can get in touch with me on my Facebook page. There you go. So reach down. At, so uh, I have salsa and um, maybe maybe 10 jars of muscadine jelly that I found. There you <laughs> go. There you go. It was missing in action. Oh, sure. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. I hope that you'll have a wonderful day today. And even if it rains and even if it's a little bit dreary, pretend the sun shines out and just uh, be blessed. I'll see you again soon only on ETC. You got me looking on the ground.